or natural divisions. We know that a region studies physical and human factors. Based on the physical factors, we can identify some homogeneous regions in India. These are known as physical or natural divisions of India. India is a huge country and has a great diversity in geographical conditions due to its large extent. A large area of our country is covered by the old plateau. The other parts which are relatively younger are different in physiographical conditions. The characteristics of these regions are A. Very high relief B. Low-lying plains C. Hot and cold climate D. Dry and wet conditions E. Fertile and infertile soils F. Heavy rains to low rainfall However, there is some similarity in this diversity. India can be grouped into five macro divisions and subdivisions on the basis of structure, landforms, climate, soils, natural vegetation, population and settlements distribution pattern, cultural aspects, economic development, etc. These broad divisions are totally different from each other and each of them have a distinctive regional personality. These divisions contrast with each other and have their own potentials and challenges. These physical divisions are A. The Northern Mountainous Region B. The North Indian Plains C. The Peninsular Plateau D. The Coastal Lowlands E. The Islands A. The Northern Mountainous Region The Himalayas separate the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan Plateau. They are one of the youngest folded mountain ranges which have the highest topographic relief in the world. These mountains are made up of granitic core and flanked by metamorphosed sedimentary rocks. It has very uneven topography and the structure of the region is very complex. The characteristics of the Himalayas are A. Steep slopes B. Lofty snow-covered peaks C. Cold climate D. Narrow deep valleys E. Swift flowing rivers F. There are a few roads, small scattered and terraced agriculture patches, uninhabited natural landscape, etc. G. The eastern parts of the region have thick growth of natural vegetation, heavy rain and numerous isolated culture groups who are living in scattered settlements. Did you know that the Himalayan ranges are spread over five countries, Bhutan, India, Nepal, China and Pakistan? B. The North Indian Plains These plains cover most of northern and eastern India. The physiographic landscape of this plain is very different from that of the northern mountain ranges. The characteristics of the North Indian Plain are Number 1. They form an unbroken belt of alluvial soil which increases in thickness from west to east. The thick layer of alluvial soil makes the plain extremely fertile. Number 2. The North Indian Plains are consistently leveled plains without any interruption. Number 3. It has mild climatic conditions and very gentle sloped landscape. Number 4. The rivers flow slowly and form flood plains. Number 5. This region has a good infrastructure, high density of population and increasing economic development. 
Did you know that the North Indian plains are the most intensely farmed areas of the world? C. The Peninsula Plateau. It is the largest natural division of India. The Indian Plateau is one of the oldest and stable land masses in the world. The characteristics of the Peninsula Plateau regions are Number 1. It is composed of very old igneous and metamorphic rocks. Number 2. Due to faulting and volcanic activities, we find many landform features here. Number 3. This region is triangular in shape. Number 4. It is characterized by horizontally layered lava. Number 5. Step like topography, rocky hills, plateaus of rolling surfaces, detached low hills, subsidence of the western part, several faults, fractures, and gently rising hills are found here. Number 6. The series of plateaus, rift valleys, wide valleys, penne plains, residual blocks, and high hill ranges have fertile black soils and is rich in mineral resources. Number 7. The distribution of human settlements is uneven. D. The coastal plain. They are the low flat areas which are suited adjacent to water bodies which is usually the sea. The coastal lowlands can be divided into two divisions on the basis of location and different physiographic conditions. They are 1. The Western Coastal Plain The western coast is very narrow due to less depositional action of the rivers and it stretches from the Arabian Sea to the Western Ghats. The characteristics of the western coast are 1. The coast is characterized by seasonal rivers, high relief, dissected terrain, faulted structures, indented coastlines and marine erosion with ria and cliffs. Number 2 Uneven topography is composed of eroded remnant ranges, low lateritic plateaus and coastline of alternating bays and headlands. Number 3 The coast has estuaries, backwater, lagoons, mud flats, swamps, salt marshes, mangrove forests, clean and beautiful beaches. Number 2. The Eastern Coastal Plain. This region has many deltaic plains and stretches between the Bay of Bengal and the Eastern Ghats. The characteristics of the Eastern Coastal Plain are 1. The plains in this region are related with the depositional activities of the rivers partly owing to the change in their base levels. Number 2. Extensive deltas of the Mahanadi, the Godavari, the Krishna and the Kaveri etc. are the characteristic features of this coast. E. The Islands There are two groups of islands. They are 1. The Arabian Sea Islands consists of Lakshwadeep, Minikoi and Amandivi Islands. These are located 200 to 440 kilometers off the southwestern coast of India. These islands form the smallest union territory of India. Their total surface area is 32 km square. Kavarati serves as the capital of the Union Territory. This region comes under the jurisdiction of the Kerala High Court. 2. The Bay of Bengal Islands comprise of the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands. The North Andaman Islands are physically characterized by a central range and covered by narrow valleys. 
The Little Andaman is almost flat except the northern hilly tract. The Nicobar are hilly islands that form the summit of a submerged mountain range. The surface has small streams and depressions are filled up to form alluvial plains.